Good evening, everybody. Uh, I was reminded by a friend of mine's daughter that I have not done any taste tests in a while. So, Bertie, this one's for you. Um, so, I have a few drinks I'm going to try tonight. I'm going to the international market actually tomorrow to get some new stuff. And I think that's going to be my New Year's. Not a resolution because I always fail. But a New Year's, I'll give it my best shot. Is maybe I'll try something. Oh, God. Sorry. Bad hair. Um, try something new like once a week maybe. So I'm gonna give it a shot, but I have three drinks tonight. Um, the first one is, it, I know they have this brand Schweppes in the United States, but this was from the Germany section at uh, Jungle Gems, and a German guy told us we had to try it, that it was delicious. Um, he said it's better with vodka, but I'm just gonna have it alone. It's bitter lemon, so I don't, I don't know if it'll be good. It doesn't sound very good. Um, I do have a McDonald's sweet tea standing by. So, all right, so smells kind of like lemonade. I got a glass so we can see. Looks like pale lemonade. It's a small glass or small can, so there's not a lot to it. Smells pretty good. That's really bitter. It gets worse the longer it sits in your mouth <laughs> but it gets really bad I'm starting to like pucker up like in like my taste buds and everything are starting to shrivel that is extremely bitter I don't know how vodka would make that better um, I could see it being part of like an Arnold Palmer maybe be the only thing sweet tea is the only thing I think that could save it not disgusting though so okay so Schweppes bitter lemon maybe as a mixer but I'm not gonna be just drinking the next one is bubble tea. Um, I've never had it. Uh, I looked it up and there's a lot of different things. I thought it had like boba in it, which is like those bursting little candies. Nope, it's tapioca. And this one sounded the least gross. It's brown sugar bubble milk tea. Um, but it can also have fruit and different things in it. They said the bubble tea can have a lot of different things. So, the, uh, okay, I was afraid it's gonna like be really foamy. All right. It, yeah, it just smells like sweet milk. So I got a quick cup so we can see. So far, just the milky substance. Oh, oh there they go. It looks like frog eggs coming out of it. Yuck. That does not look appetizing. Oh, they're bouncing around the bottom of the can. Yeah, it looks like frog eggs. I'm sorry, that's the redneck in me coming out. It's... It looks like, oh, yuck. They look, I don't know if you can see that in the, <laughs> they're like on the edge of the can there. That doesn't look good. My cat has come to visit. Yeah, there's a bunch down in there. I don't know how you get them out, so I don't know how you drink this. If you, oh, they just shot across the room. Well, maybe the cat will get it. All right, there's still some down in there. Like, I can't get them out. So, um, there's some white flecks of stuff floating on the top. Maybe milk? I don't know, but doesn't smell horrible. Yeah, it just tastes like tea with milk maybe and, and brown sugar. So not bad. I think it'd actually be good warm. Um, ooh, got a spoon so I can eat some of the bubbles. Oh my gosh. So they're like, they're gray. Oh, there's, there's the... Yeah, they're pretty, they're like caviar-ish looking, but really big and gray. And um, and we'll pick one up. Yeah, they don't burst like the boba. They're, ugh, they're squishy. Yeah, it's like, it's like clay or Play-Doh. So, <laughs> um, so you'd have to drink the whole thing to be able to get one of the bubbles. Which I don't know why they call them bubbles, because they're solid. So, okay, I'm going to get a little bit of the tea on the spoon with it. And then, this is so gross looking. Wow. That is not appetizing at all. And I can't imagine taking a drink and having that come <laughs> in your mouth. That does, that just, the tea itself, not disgusting. I don't like milk in my tea, but, um, okay. It's, it's uh, an Asian drink. 
uh, from a lot of different Asian countries. Uh, the ones I looked up online, it seemed to be mostly from China, but there was a lot of different places it's from. But if you like it, it's, it wasn't terrible. Um, Rico is the name of the brand, I think. Oh, this one says Taiwan. Oops, I didn't even read the can. So, okay, so the last one, I feel really bad that I've actually never tried this. Um, eggnog, I've never had eggnog. It sounds horrible. Um, it always looked like thick and disgusting. I asked around and this, sorry, it was a big container is all I had. This was supposed to be the best one, the Homestead Creamery, unless you make homemade, which I'm not gonna do. Um, so I took the liner thing off, but get it open without spilling it. I don't really smell anything, and I think this one is uh, alcohol free, I think. Okay, that's at Kroger, so I don't think they don't sell liquor there, so. All right, I'm gonna pour some. It's really thick, um, looks like melted ice cream. Um, yeah, I'll get my teaspoon. It, yes, it's like really thick um, and soupy looking. Um, I can't really smell a whole lot, so. Um, I looked this up too. It originated in Britain, came to the United States in the 1700s. Even George Washington has a handwritten recipe, but he didn't say how many eggs, and they said to put a dozen eggs, but then it also called for a pint and a quarter of alcohol, different kinds of alcohol, so um, I guess they wanted to kill bacteria and stuff back then, but um, I've just never wanted to taste it. It just looks disgusting, It just, but I'll give it a shot. That's really good. It does taste like melted ice cream too. Um, it's got like nutmeg, I think, and cinnamon, just a little tiny bit, but it's like a super, super creamy, like a melted custard, almost like a really thin custard, but it's, well, now I feel bad. I'm 45 and I've never had eggnog and I could have been enjoying this at Christmas every year. So um, I, this is, I, does not have alcohol. I can taste that, but. Might have to go get some. So I should have opened this at Christmas. So guys, uh, that is my three drinks for tonight. Um, I have a couple other things I'm going to try later and then tomorrow we're going to the international market and I'm gonna get some different stuff to try. I'm still looking for pickled herring for Anna to try from, because I have the lingonberry sauce from Switzerland. So I just really don't wanna try <laughs> pickled herring, but I'm gonna do it. So if anybody has any suggestions of things I should try since I've never tried anything in my whole life, please let me know and I will pick it up tomorrow. Thanks guys.